Ah, right. Looks like I'm screwing with airborne signals again. Whatever this thing is, it's flickering like mad. Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm, I'm busy. busy. So, how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's see. According to my satellite navigation system, we are... <laughs> Look at that. According to this, we are a mile outside of Boston Harbor. I feel like I've been piloting this boat near forever. I've got to go on deck and take a look. What a beautiful sight this is going to be. Ryan? That's the George Washington Bridge. That's right. This isn't Boston. No, it's not. How is this possible? How can I still be in New York? I've been piloting this boat for... I don't know how long! I must have left New York waters by now. How long, Ryan? What? Just how long have you been piloting this boat? I don't know. I grabbed the money a few hours after closing time. That must have been 9 p.m.? I came straight to the boat, so it's only been a few hours, right? I hid the money down below. I set out, and then I heard sirens. The harbor police on the bullhorn. They boarded. No, no, they didn't get me. They couldn't have. I was so desperate to get away. I had my gun. I missed. They shot back. That's all I remember. They did get me. I'm sorry, Ryan. For 30 years, they made me bleed, and they finally killed me once and for all. Excuse me, this is a lot to take in. That makes no- Hey, Ryan, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? It's to help you on your way. My way? Yes, Ryan. It's time for you to move on. <sighs> yes, I guess it's time. I think... I think I went a bit mad. It's all so clear to me now. My wife died. Did I tell you about that? Her name was June. Yes, cancer. And it wasn't pretty. But when she died, I kind of lost it. My work suffered quite a bit. Maybe they had no choice but to fire me, but I thought that 30 years of service was worth something. I guess I was wrong. Strange. Why is this all so obvious to me now that I'm dead? I wish I knew. Still, the bank will never get their money back. I made sure they paid for that, at least. You know you can't take it with you, right? No, I know exactly what I mean. Then what are you talking about? You'll find out. June, if you're out there, I'm coming. Say, darling, you wouldn't know how to pilot this floating crate, would you? No. Why? Because we've increased speed by, uh, a lot, and we're headed straight towards the Jersey Shore. What? Is that what he meant? What who meant? Never mind. All these buttons are Greek to me. What do we do? Can you swim? No good. Nothing I do works. No good. Nothing I do works. No time, kid. Abandon ship. Hey, careful. Oh god, oh god. You ready? No. Jump! Ah! I can't take you anywhere. Shut up. I'm wet, I'm filthy. And I'm in New Jersey. Relax, will ya? We saved another one. 
score another point for us. Yeah, that yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. We are so not getting paid. Not one lead cent. <sighs> City dock wall. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Who'd be calling me now? Joey, could you, uh... Right, right. Hello? Hi, is this Rosangela? Yes, who's this? It's been a while. This is Jeremy Sams. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the Village Eye? Oh, God, no. I left there a year ago. I work at the City Post now. Really? That's a big step up. Congratulations. Thanks. I actually hoped you could help me with an article I'm working on. Me? I've come down with the flu or something really bad. I need to follow up on some interviews and the window is closing. Can you help? Come on. You'll be paid and you can share the byline. Well, tell me what it is first. Awesome. Come on over and we'll chat. Thanks a mil, Rosangela. So we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. The City Post is a pretty important paper. Maybe they'll want a spiritual news column. I doubt it. It's open. Come on in. I'll be out in a sec. Is this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Hmm? Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. I haven't I been feeling, feeling well, well, as I said. said. Who's your friend? Your friend? Is, Is something, something wrong? wrong? Jeremy? Are you dead? I certainly feel sick enough to be dead. I haven't been able to leave the apartment in two days. I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I'm on the verge of something really big. That's why I need your help. You need our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my... partner. I see. So you two are... Oh, no, uh, nothing like that. I mean, a writing partner. Oh, good. I mean, that's good. Partners are good. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joey. I like the hat. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with you? It's just the flu. Nothing to worry about. I'll be fine in a few days. I just want to get this article submitted before it's too late. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. I go myself, but I'm not exactly up to snuff. Snuff is the word. Joey! What? So what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, of course I'll help. It's what I do. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. Well, I better get going. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then.
Hey, look. Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. I know it's a bit weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. No, you don't have to do that, really. Just... just take care of yourself. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Then let's hop to it. Hmm? Could I help you? What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? You mean you don't know? Of course not! What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I... don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. Could I ask you a few questions? I don't think so, no. Just leave, please. I'll be going, I guess. Bye. There's nothing down that hallway I need to see. It says Junior Reporters. That must be where Jeremy's desk is. I wish I could, but I can't pick it up. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. Even if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. It's one of them computer things. Looks like a press pass. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. I can't make heads or tails out of what this says. I'm not just gonna float through- I'm not just- Stymied by another door, huh? Sometimes I wonder why I bother bringing you along. Um, what do you think you're doing? Using the elevator? Not unless I buzz you in first. And in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not doing that. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, officer? It's Detective. Detective Durkin. And you shouldn't be up here at this hour. Did something happen here? No, I'm doing street art. Of course something happened. You should run along home. You don't want the same thing to happen to you. Someone died, didn't they? Gee, what tipped you off? Believe me when I say you don't want to be involved. Could you tell me who it was? Couldn't, even if I wanted to, because we don't know. So it's a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. I think I know who the victim was. You do, huh? His name was Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? I just do. You just do. Yeesh. 
What is it about Pox that brings out all the crazies? I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You wanna come look at the body? You know how crazy you sound? I do. You come out of nowhere and say you know a stiff by looking at an outline on pavement? Yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. I'm offering information here, why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? We have procedures. We'll release a photograph and then get a proper ID. Now run along. Right. I'll be back. It's a free country. That's just morbid. It's pretty quiet out there tonight. Good. I don't want someone looking up here and seeing me talk to myself. Come on in! Oh! Hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. Those look like articles Jeremy wrote for the City Post. None from the village I, though. Can't say I blame him. Oh my god. Is that me? I mean, us? Yeah. You remember the 05 Christmas party? Yeah, that was a while ago. I was going through some old pictures when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. It's Jeremy, back when he was alive. I don't even remember getting this picture taken. Ugh, what a horrible picture of me. I'm not here to take Jeremy's books. Jeremy? Yes. yes. The receptionist at the city post won't let me in. Really? I called her and told her to expect you. Strange. I'll give her another call after you leave. So, we never- Me? Not- Did you hear about the murder on the High Line? The- the what? Somebody was killed at the High Line Park, very recently. That's interesting news. But hey, somebody else is going to have to cover it. I'm really sick and I've already got a story to cover. Well, I better get going. All right. Jeremy, could I have this photo? Really? You want it? If it's okay. Sure. I've got copies somewhere. Go right ahead. Thanks. Is this the same man you found? Let me see that. That's him, all right. What did you say his name was? Jeremy Sams. Jeremy Sams. And what's your relation to him? We used to work together. Hmm. Do you know any of his family? Anyone we can notify or speak to? I know he was a reporter for the City Post. Right. I'll give him a call. And we're gonna have to follow up with you, too. You got a number? Here's my card. Spiritual services, huh? Why do I always end up with the nuts? Anyway, right. Good night. Don't stay up here too long. It ain't safe. Um, you're welcome? That's just morbid. Ghost, remember? No touching. It looks like a murder scene, and I'm afraid I know whose. Oh, it's you. I just got off the phone with the police. You were right. Jeremy is really dead. I just saw him two days ago. He was always nice to me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. About before, I was a complete jerk. Why didn't you say it was murder? I wasn't sure at the time. Police seem pretty sure. You said you were investigating his death? Yes. I wanted to take a look at his desk. Right. I'll buzz you in. The place is empty. I'm just here holding the phones. Take as much time as you need. Just 
Find whoever did this, okay? I'll do my best. All right, Jeremy, what were you up to? Let's see if it was worth getting killed over. According to this, Jeremy interviewed a woman named Penelope Haynes. Looks like Jeremy tried to speak to someone named Penelope Haynes over the phone. Looks like Jeremy... It says that Jeremy followed up with someone and whoever it was tried to scam him. A definite connection. Connection to what? It says that Jeremy followed up with someone and whoever it was tried to scam him. Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. It says that There's nothing on Jeremy's computer worth looking at. I don't need the whiteboard for anything. ask you a few questions? I'll do my best. What would you like to know? So how well did you know Jeremy? He was nice, I guess. Just one of the faces I saw every day. It's weird to think of him as gone. Jeremy was killed on the High Line. Do you know why he might go there? That's the new park on the west side. I have no idea why he'd go there. Thanks again. Sure. Anything I can do to help, just ask. It's Rose Angela Blackwell. Remember me? Yeah. What do you want? Did you find a cell phone with Jeremy's body? A phone? No, I would have remembered that. We couldn't find one in his apartment either. Why do you ask? No reason. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? Jeremy spoke to a Penelope Haynes before he died. From the old folks home? Yeah, we know. We found her through his phone records. It's a dead end if you ask me. The woman barely knows where she is. I was just checking- Nothing you got it. I don't have anything else for you. Mm-hmm. Good night. Hi again. Oh, hi. Could I ask you a few questions? I'll do my best. What would you like to know? Thanks again. Sure. Hi, 
Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please leave a message. Um, no. There's been enough death here already. Come on in. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. 